I really like the idea of stomp on the leg, you know, for breaking the grip on the spider guard. I believe I saw this back in the day. I think the first person that I saw someone stomp on the leg was uh, Jacare. Back in the day, you know, like uh, people would play spider guard, he would just stomp on the leg and break the grip and quickly advance on the guard pass. And Jacare is a good example from the ideas of, uh, you know, like a break in the grip and then uh, and pass the guard after that. And then uh, that's what I saw and then uh, worked very well for me. I'm glad nobody did that to me. I'm trying to remember, but uh, yeah, nobody actually tried that, but it works very well. So we're gonna use the lasso here. We're still gonna go against first the side of the, of the position that he has the lasso. Again, I'm still gonna make the grip on the collar and stay tight here, not allowing him to go back with the last. I can even like keep my knee here, connect the chain. I don't know if you see here, but you know, like my knees connect here. Try to take the last out, John, so he can't take the last out. And I'm gonna create the rotation here, the momentum, like, and then I'm snap his leg down. If his leg is going down, that's the momentum that I go, then I step, then I stump. When I stump now, I do the C grip and then I go back to the other side. But I'm going back, I feel that Jean, it's being very strong on this leg here. I feel the tension, he wants to go back on the leg. If you don't go back on the leg here, and then he's palmally here on my hips, and then his other leg is up, then he recover the guard, right? So, when I feel the tension, I'm going to the side here, and Jean he wants to take this leg out, I'm actually I'm gonna allow him, as he's allowing that is a open here. Then I'm gonna slide my knee through the guard and pass the guard here. So, the key of dealing with the last on this one is to pressure and threat him going to pass to the side of the lasso. I think he's here. The lasso is strong. Like the lasso is strong when John is here, his knee's here and he's open, or he's like really deep here, the way that I can't like go to that side, you know, so that make uh, this lasso difficult. But once I back up and I control here, he can try to control this lasso here, it's gonna be very hard. So I still have my hand on the collar. So as I'm going, I feel the tension. He's a good guard player, he wants to go back. Boom, rotate, that's not wrong. If I don't time him well, then he also needs to use this leg on the ground, almost like a, to use like a, this guard retention that he's using his toes on the ground and go back on the guard. <laughs> but I'm expecting that, right? I would have done that on the ground too. If I was playing the guard, I would try that. So when I feel the tension, I let go, my hand is already here. So my other hand, as I let go here, my other hand go, and then my head drive here. So see like the chain, my head. If I go here, and then now I try to go, I let go like as he bring this back, and then if I'm not low, then he bring the leg up, then he recover the guard. So when I'm here, and he's taking this out, so then I have to be already here. So now, try to go back to your leg, John, he can't, then he's right open here for the guard pass. One motion now.